In today's video, we'll be connecting LLMs to GA4 data using Langchain. This allows us to build chat interfaces to marketing data, helping marketers generate insights. I'm going to do that by assembling chains that interact with Google BigQuery. I'm first going to connect to the GA4 data using Langchain's BigQuery Lotus. Then I'm going to formulate the functions that fetches the schema information for the GA4 data. I'll then feed the schemas into a SQL chain needed to extract the data. And finally, I'm going to formulate the full chain that allows us to chat with the data using basic chain composition. I'll share the code and a link to the data below the video. Let's get started. So I'm going to be using the GA4 e-commerce public dataset. I'll put a link to this data below the video. And if you click the dataset link, you will open up the BigQuery public datasets in your BigQuery console. And here you can find the GA4 obfuscated sample data. And if you click on events, you can see that each day of data is stored in a separate date partitioned table. I also have my own GA4 data in here, which is data that is streamed from a web property using GA4, the connection from GA4 to BigQuery. And here I'll have two tables. I'll have an events table like the one we just saw, and then an events table with intraday data. So I'm not going to cover how to set up the GA4 BigQuery connection. There are plenty of tutorials out there that will cover that. It's very easy to do, but you will need a service account key to access the data. And I'll put a link to a tutorial on how to do that below this video. All right, so let's build the Colab notebook. I have my .env file with the API keys. I have my gbq key.json, which is the BigQuery service account key. And then I'm pip installing a bunch of libraries, python.env to get the API keys, Langchain, OpenAI, and Anthropic, the connectors to Langchain, SQL Alchemy, and Google Cloud BigQuery. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to Google BigQuery. I'm going to use my service account key, gbqkey.json to do that. And the Langchain community library has a BigQuery loader that I'm going to use in this video. And in order to fetch data with the BigQuery loader, you need to use OS to set the Google application credentials. And then I'm going to write a function that allows me to take a query and fetch the data using the BigQuery loader and return it as documents that can be used in Langchain chains. And the service account key, dbqkey.json, allows me to fetch any data within my project Ruby promotion. So I'm just going to define two variables, table one and table two, specifying the two tables I want to query. And one table is the public GA4 dataset I showed you, and the other one is my own GA4 dataset. And to keep it simple, I'm just gonna focus on one table and one date. I'm not gonna query across all the different dates. Now, let me first use the getDocs function to fetch some data from the public dataset. I'm going to count events and group by the events. And if I call the getDocs function with this query as an argument, you can see that I get a nice list of documents that can be fed to a Langchain chain. And I can, of course, do the same thing for table one, my own dataset. All right, so far, so good. This is the functionality that is needed to feed the chain with insights. Next up, I'm going to import BigQuery from Google Cloud. I'm going to import service account from Google Auth2. And I do this just because I want to be able to use the BigQuery client in order to be able to run my own queries. Now, if I run the query from before with the Google BigQuery client, you can see that I can get the results as a pandas data frame. And this is nice to have when you're building the chains and you want to troubleshoot. Now we need the schemas. We need the detailed GA4 schema information because we want to feed that to the chain. And this part is a little bit painful because you actually need to know how to extract this schema information using the Google BigQuery client. I've written two functions here that allows me to extract this information. One builds the schemas and the other one fetches the schemas. The second one uses the first one to fetch the schema information and we will fetch the schema information for both the tables the events and the events intraday. But you only need to write them once for your data set, and then you can reuse them for every chain you built. And the get schema function is going to need the full data set ID 
the project and the data set. And we need that because we want to feed the LLM as much information as possible on the structure of the tables. And if I fetch the schemas for full dataset ID 1, the first dataset, you can see that I get table identifiers and I get a detailed schema description. So I get the schema for the daily table and the intraday table. And if I fetch the scheme information for the second data set, I'm only going to get the daily table, as there is no intraday table in the public data set. All right, so let's set up the language models. I'm going to load the environment variables because I need the API keys for OpenAI and Anthropic. And I usually try out both GPT-4 and Claude 3 Opus to see which one performs better. Next up, I'm going to import string output parser and runnable pass through, which is needed to set up the chain. And the first prompt I'm going to need is the SQL prompt. So based on the GA4 BigQuery schema, write a SQL query that will answer the user's questions. And then we'll inject the schema and the question from the user. And this gives me everything I need to set up the first chain, the SQL response. So I'm going to formulate a new function called getSchema that uses my fetch schemas function and the full dataset ID to fetch the schema information. And this will be injected into the prompt template using the runnable pass through. And then I'm assembling the chain using the runnable pass through, the prompt, the language model, in this case GPT-4, and the string output parser that ensures that I get a string in return. And now we can test the chain by asking the LLM to list the top five events. And here you can see that the chain returns a clean SQL response that can be run using any connector to the database. So I'm just going to use the GPQ client to run the SQL code and return it as a pandas data frame. OK, so this is already useful. This was the first part of the full chain. Now we have the text to clean SQL part covered. Let me just try to run this with the public data set and see what we get. And here we also get the SQL code that can be run using the Google BigQuery client. Now the last part is fairly simple. We just need to use the SQL chain and the Google BigQuery loader to formulate the full chain. So I'm going to formulate a final template. And this prompt says that based on the table schema below, the question and the SQL query and the SQL response, write a natural language response. And then we're going to inject schema, question, query, and response. And the final chain is going to look like the SQL chain, except that we will use the runnable pass-through to inject the SQL response and the schema and the output of the SQL query using the getDocs function. And then the final chain will have three components, the runnable pass-through, the final prompt, and the language model. And if we run this and ask for the top five events, we'll get an answer back in natural language. And you can see here that the language model gives us the top five events in the BigQuery public dataset. So the final part of the chain here doesn't add much value in its current form, but now you have the full pipeline that allows you to build chat interfaces to GA4 data. All right, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.